so what we're doing today is we're taking fresh Nova Scotia blueberries that I actually picked and there will be a video uploaded as well and we're going to take the blueberries with the uh, lined dehydrator and we're going to put it on 115 and we're going to dehydrate these berries that way when I'm doing my winter baking I will be able to use fresh uh, blueberries that were dehydrated and picked locally saving me both money and uh, time because you're not going to be able to get fresh uh, Nova Scotia wild blueberries in the middle of the winter because sadly we only have a short window span for the ability to pick the blueberries which is the couple of weeks in August so if you don't dehydrate them you won't be able to have them all year long so we're just going to cover up the uh, sheet and you're just going to rub your spoon to make sure they're not on top of each other. Now at 115 for 8 to 16 hours depending on the size and what we're going to do now is I'm just going to get another rack and I'm going to continue to do this and I'll bring you back uh, probably in about 8 hours to show you what they look like. So 115 for and the reason why you're doing 115 is because you don't want to burn them. So, And I'll just bring you back tomorrow and show you what they look like. So I just wanted to show what the uh, berries look like after uh, eight hours and as you can see they're still needing to be dehydrated. So we're just going to leave them go for another few hours and I'll bring you back. just wanted to show a quick update that's 13 hours. The berries still need a few more hours so I'm just going to close it back up and dehydrate them a little bit more. So I just wanted to show after 18 hours the blueberries are ready to actually be stored for the winter. So I'm just going to remove them from here and put them in the storage and I'll upload another video and show you how to store them for the winter.